Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back and uh, we are going to do a few things before we go to the nether because we have to craft uh, a few things uh, before we can go to the nether. So let's get that done today. So the first thing we're going to do is look for our wand, which hopefully is just sitting right here. Awesome. And we're just going to jump down here. Hopefully we have what we need requirement wise, ow, for uh, what we need to craft. So first of all, I want to craft a vision helmet. And to craft a vision helmet, you're going to have to go through a bit of magic. We're going to get a couple lenses here made up. So was that the right recipe? Yeah. Now, those lenses are easier to make later on with like starlight infusion, I believe. But we have to get to that point. So we're not quite there yet. But let's hop up here. And then we can go to our crafting table, which you can hold the little shards in there, which makes life a little easier when it comes to crafting. And then we can throw this in here, and then we can get the cave illuminator, which is a pretty cool thing, but uh, we don't care about the cool thing, honestly. We just care about the, uh, the cave illuminator for the recipe and a vision helmet. So the vision helmet has a bunch of cool stuff to it. Literally, it's just night vision that is all the cool stuff to it <laughs> but anyways i want it i need it and i like it so we're gonna jump back down here and we're gonna keep crafting here night vision uh night vision i was just gonna say night vision portal yeah we're making a night vision portal today uh so we're gonna make some angel blocks here wonder if it'll be enough to make it kind of go down it's kind of fun when you watch this kind of like multi-craft it kind of like goes Whoop. apparently angel blocks are a very hard thing to make you can do it I believe in you oh yeah I did do the little teetering cool and then I think that's it for this. Yeah, we can go back to... Let's just double check again. Yeah, yeah, We can go back to the overworld here. We are in the overworld. Sorry, back to our base. And we're going to have to craft with some of the uh, nasty death stuff we got. Oh, I never even looked. How bad is the spread of this thing? Like I said, oh, so there was a second uh, thing. Yeah, so it didn't spread more than the little circle, which I assume. And there was a second one, which did the same thing. Those chunks were loaded, too. I purposely loaded them to see what would happen, like, further out as well. But they didn't spread. So I guess we could say, you know, you're pretty guaranteed you'd be pretty damn safe. Uh, okay, so let's take this out. And... Let's put this in here. Now you only need the one bucket of the the death stuff that we got, so liquid uh, liquid death. So that's good. And then uh, we should be able to shift click this, and you got all ten of them. And there you go. So there you go, all ten. So we of course unlock access to the Nether. Next step will be unlocking blah blah blah. So basically, mobs will have. Increase the difficulty again. Uh, just keep that in mind. That's part of the deal when you uh, do the next unlock. So, yeah, we'll get our butt handed to us. One, two. Oh, shoot. We're invisible, aren't we? Two, two. That's why the uh, blocks didn't show up there. They were, they were invisible. Um, I think it might have been, but usually that doesn't happen for that teleporter. Oh, no, it's, it's there. I guess it was just kind of weird looking there. Okay, so I've done a lot of enchanting. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with enchanting too, I should say. Um, I should say I'm a little sad with enchanting as well, though. Um, because I was hoping to get a night vision helmet, which never did happen. Um, like, not... Okay, that doesn't make sense, because we got a night vision helmet. I tried to get night vision enchant so I can throw them onto a helmet. That never happened. So, yeah, that, that happens, unfortunately. Uh, I did a lot of enchanting over here. Like, we could, we're talking about all this enchanting and still nothing. So, what we're going to do is we got this new helmet. We're going to look at, see if one of these are good. So, this is uh, good. I like protection instead. So, unbreaking, rebound. That's not too bad. Uh, that's not too bad as well. And it has unbreaking crazy amounts and um 
This one's soul bound, so you don't even lose the helmet, which would be kind of useful. And they both have protection, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would stack, so it increases it, right? Uh, do, 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 do. Well, they might. Uh, I say, should say they might. And then uh, I did helmets, but I also did other things too, of course. But uh, just seeing if anything is, like, you know, worth checking out. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the same stuff for the helmet enchants. The helmet enchants were pretty lame. Aqua affinity on that one, but yeah, you're not putting that one on. And then of course you got your enchants themselves, which you can you might have something worthwhile on that, but for now I think I'll just leave with what we have. I'm I'm happy with that. So uh this anvil hopefully it'll hold up for this kind of stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Protection, VII, I'm breaking IX, rebound three, soulbound. Okay, and then what we can do is we'll put this on here. And then there we go. And this will be our new helmet. And right click to toggle on. Okay, so I guess it's on, or? Yeah, it says night vision. This was the helmet I had, anyways. It's not like I had a really good helmet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it worked. Uh, I, I made some decent books since when I first did this, but that's why things are kind of different. You got fortune, miners holding. Oh, I hit A accidentally. Like, what did I just do there? So you can see you don't get a lot of... It's interesting when you think about it, like what you get. Depth Strider. That's an interesting one. Do I have... Oh, I do... No, I have four. So, I mean, that's kind of useful, but I was, like, looking at, like, protection. Oh, there's protection VI, I guess. Yeah, sometimes it's probably easier to uh, do cheaper armors than the enchantment books because you can see, like, I'm thinking, hey, I wonder how many, like, protection type books I have. And you're, you're noticing I have, like, next to nothing, and that's unfortunately how it works when it comes to this. I think some of these were low level at first. Yeah, yeah, see, you can see. So it's up to you if you want to. Uh, so let's see, protection V, protection, that was even less than protection V. So you could start with uh, the boots, I guess, and say, okay. Wait, so it's protection. That's, oh, yeah, oh, no, that's a bra I'm breaking. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, wait, protection, oh, yeah, it's VI, okay. So this is up. This is like six, right? And then, uh, yeah, so protection six. But anyways, I won't bother with any more for now. That's how it works anyways. I think we'll be good. Uh, the only other thing I would recommend if you're going to the nether is probably bring yourself fire resist potions, which... I didn't make any at all. Uh, fire, exile, 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 elixir, right? But do we have some? Yeah, here they are. Uh, we don't even have the ability right now to make it because we just don't have the aloe stuff that we should have for it. So we'll we'll just ignore it for now. Probably not the safest thing, but uh, that's fine. Let's. Put away our time in the bottle. And, uh, oh yeah, before we quite finish here, just tell you what we have. We have Diamond Sword, which has all this good stats. And we have our bow here as our main weapon. And apparently if you, ha you have this, I guess it's lightning. If you have the sword in your inventory, uh, or not in your inventory, in your hotbar while using the bow, you'll get the looting effect. So that's a pretty big deal, to be honest. And something you should know. Uh, bag or pouch. Uh, crap. Um, what are these bags called? I don't even have one of these bags. A satchel, sorry. I don't know why I don't have a satchel at all. It's something that's not hard to make and something you should probably have. Uh, so let's get the tin here. Okay, got that it's tin. And leather and wool. So we can get the leather over here. How much leather did you need? Oh, crap. How much leather did we need? 
three. One, two, three. And see, I did that thing. I don't know what's going on with this. Something in this pack has a weird sensitive, like I can accidentally, you know, screw up with my inventory, which I've never had before, but it's it's just this pack alone. There's something in it. I don't know what it is, but it's annoying as heck. So we need some wool. Oh, good. It's right here. thought I'd have to dig for it. So this is our satchel. And then you can get the upgraded. Okay, yeah, the upgraded ones are just upgrading that. So you need invar and one, two, three. Uh, let's just get the invar. And then what's the other part? Tin nuggets. So that tin we had before that we got rid of could have been coming in handy. So tin. There you go. And so that's one row. This is two rows. And then you can do the hardened one as well, which is electrum and then invar. So uh, electrum, which one are you? There you go. Oh, wasn't it like three or something you need? And then invar nuggets i believe and then that should get you the reinforce so this my friends is three slots but that's boo who cares a crap about three slots right well this is where we'll fix that up here in a second now you can get even more if we enchant it with level 60 but i'm not going to waste my time with that right now just mostly because uh we want to go to the nether but if you put it in here, you can enchant the bag, and you can see, look at holding VII. Well, I don't think we'll, we'll, we'll attempt to get to the 60. I don't know if we have enough in the tanks for juice right now to hit the 60, but we'll give it a try. I just basically squeezed out all the juice out of the tanks recently, so. I really tempted to try to get that night vision, which didn't work out, so. Nope, we're not going to hit it. Too slow. It would just take too damn long for it to do that. So what we're going to do is we got Soulbound, which almost always gives the holding as well. So uh, that's not a big deal for me. So one, two, there you go. And holding four. So that's good enough. And then we'll go ahead and right click this. And there you go. So this bag here, now we'll have holding four. So it's four slots plus the three we had. And, uh, yeah, so the bag would have been a lot bigger with the other one, of course, but that's what we got, right? Oh, yeah, we got to light the portal. And we might have to go to the other place. Because I don't know if we have it here. I don't think so. I think it's at the other place right now. There it is. You need to use this to light it up. There you go. I'll just throw that there, and here we go. If all goes well, I will have died right away. And we already killed our first gas. Now, we didn't have looting on us, so that sucks. That didn't let us uh, get that, but wow. Place is kind of dangerous right away. A little more dangerous than the last uh, server I played, because... Uh, wasn't that dangerous? Uh, so I guess you can decide how you're going to do some stuff. There you go. There's my bow. Like I said, my bow is going to be awesome for this. So we're not going to have too many issues. Uh, but you're going to have to worry about these guys. I don't think they'll aggro you right away. But like the second you start mining, they're probably going to go after you. So. so we got glowstone. And here's one of our first ores we got. So... Basically, the main, main reason here is we can get nether brick, which you'll need for some recipes, as well as this here, actually, Stib Stibnite. Uh, Stibnite? Yeah, Stibnite is exactly why we're here, if you can believe that. Um, the reason this is useful is when we process this down, we will get ourselves... Uh, uh, the antimony dust. The antimony dust is actually needed for the new chips and stuff. So if we check here, uh, which version of the chips? Yeah, so the diode that I need to make here uses a tiny bit of gallium. Oh, no, that's antimony. Oh, yeah, gallium is from antimony, though, I think. So if you look at gallium, I believe... Um, I swear I'm not crazy, my friends. Oh, it's from bauxite, so I might have gotten that wrong. 
thought it was from something else as well, like Stib Knight. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. Maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Oh, you can get apparently from Netherrack anyways. Uh, but you'll find the uh, the other one, Boxite, around the world too, so that'll be cool. So, anyways, let's, let's just mine a bit of this. They have the v regular Tinker's Ardite in here. <laughs> they don't have a Greg Tech version, I guess. Kind of weird when you finally have like a mixed ore in there. It's like, ooh, that's just not something we're used to. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nether, you gotta be careful because you're gonna hit things like lava pockets while mining. Um, kind of dangerous, but uh, it's what you have. It's the nether after all. So did that actually, let's just see, did that finish our uh, one quest here? For the nether do 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 yes that finished that one so what what vein was this called anyways this is a oh they have a it's called a ardite and gold how come i don't believe that's what this vein is this is ardite and gold huh so was gold one of the other ones we got sulfur how is that called ardite and gold Weird. That's not gold at all, unless if I'm missing the correlation here. But anyways, we'll go add, and then we'll do ore like this. We'll do the same thing, kind of like, and then, uh, I don't know what color I usually do. I think it was gold or something. There you go. And then what we should probably do is also lock our home here. Yeah, the antimony is for something else, too. I forget what it is now because I know I need it, but uh, I'm kind of interested in what it is for. But uh, do, 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 do. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I know I needed it later, but I don't remember what it was for. And I know it was somewhat important, too, so. I'm cr not crazy, right? 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 I do need it. I thought it was in the dust form you needed it for, though. That's the that was the funny part of it. So, oh, you need it for soldering alloy. That might be in what it was. I probably oh, and battery alloy. Oh, battery alloy. Okay, that's what it's for. Okay, so this Stib Knight stuff is battery alloy, and that's important. So you can make your like lithium batteries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's where that one comes in play. Okay, now I feel a bit better knowing uh, what it's for. Let's go mark our home because we didn't do that and there's a safety reason for wanting to do that. So it was up, right? Not down. I feel like we're... Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I have... Do I have feather falling? Oh, yeah, I do. Still probably going to hurt a bit. Yep. Oh, crap. What was that? Oh, it's just one of you guys. Okay, so, um... Ow! It hurts me when I kill it? Or was that a bat that hit me at the same time? There you go. Oh, I just accidentally hit a pigman. Not even realizing it, I hit a pig, man. Okay. That doesn't bother me. More like I just want to mark this at home. So, are we safe for a second? Home. Let's give it a nice bright green. There you go. Excellent. Okay. On with our adventure. So, we're. it's just going to be, you know, just us running around. We probably won't find anything too exciting here. But we will explore a wee bit, see what we come up with. With the looting on these guys, that'll probably help a bit. You'll probably still need, like, beheading or something f to get them. Oh, yeah, the slimes on this thing are horrible. They, The little guys, they'll drop actual uh, lava, so you have to be careful.
at least we seem to have a decent little platform to run around. Sometimes you're like, oh, you know, you're going to have to make bridges everywhere or something stupid like that. But it looks like we we got lucky on that. Let's see how good the sword is on its own. Oh. Ow. Everything is going to hurt quite a bit. Ow. Even that guy hurt, I think, when I killed him. Everything seems to have some sort of fire hit back or something. Look at all the gunpowder you get from that guy. Yeah, the looting five kind of helps with some of the, the, the loot you would get. Hello. I didn't bring my scanner, but your scanner would probably help a lot right now. Because we're only, we're basically can only see surface loot where there's a lot more than surface loot. Oh, look at all the blazes over here. That's going to hurt, though. But at the same time, we're going to get lots of rods probably out of that. So, Yeah, you can see where the fire resist potion might come in handy. <laughs> look at this. Okay. Oh, they might have blown each other away a bit, though. No, it looks like the rods might be okay. 12 rods. Awesome. Yeah, I probably should have brought the damn scanner now I think about it. Yeah, you got multi-shot on the bow. That's what's doing the... Um, the multiple arrows, basically. It's pretty badass. Ow. It's just what how it is, my friends. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to deal with the the fact that every time you hit a blaze, you're gonna get fire damage. What's a mob helmet? It's like what is that? Anything cool on the map? Have we seen yet? I don't think I've seen a fortress or anything like that, no. Sometimes armors can be actually really powerful. Most of the time it's crap, but... Even these gold swords, they may look kind of useless, but you know what they're really good for? Like this sword, you might say, eh, whatever. But the other swords that aren't, you know, anything useful there, uh, they could be worth enchanting. Don't forget, gold level has like a higher enchant level, I believe it was. So, you know, using the crappy random swords, you could use them for enchanting later on. So that could have a use to it. Wow, I had a performance issue there. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe you have to have beheading. I wonder if they remove head drops completely, and it's just a must at this point. Oh, we did get him. There's three of them there, so we'll see if we get anything. Actually, that might have been four. Yeah, with the looting five, I'm going to say, uh, and then the last server we ran here for a bit when I played, I'm going to guess, watch this, he has, he has, um, won't matter anyways, but he has, um, he prevents you from actually being able to hit him, so. Ow. With all the protection, it's not like it's going to really hurt us that much, but I still don't like taking tick damage. It's like probably the most annoying effect in the game, so. Probably also eats all your loot with the lava there. I don't know if they made them somehow lava resistant. Is it possible? Of course, but you know, I don't know if it, they have a mod for that, so.
Okay, let's go back towards our home here. That way we can go back and quickly... Uh, we'll just go in and out maybe and grab a scanner if we make it back in time just for fun. Uh, like I said, it won't probably make much of a difference anyways because... Uh, you know, you have to run around and get some stuff, but... Fudge, I had a feeling that would happen, but... I was also hoping it wouldn't happen. I would say bats are going to probably be some of your worst enemies here. They're going to be great for the gunpowder, of course, when you do come across them, but they're going to probably be some of your more hated enemies. They can cause a lot of damage to you, but also the blocks around you and cause you to have not a good day. Probably not be near the edges or one of those bats are going to take you off. Okay. Not the best spawn, by the way, but whatever. Okay. So we were in the nether. We went back to the overworld. I would say it was pretty damn successful. Um, not scary scary or anything like that. I mean, it's pretty dangerous, as you can tell, but uh, nothing we can't survive, honestly. So that's, that's, that's good news, knowing that, you know, it seems like... We went there well geared, and uh, we don't have to really worry too much about that. So we're looking for our scanner, and our scanner can help us find just random ores. And I just wanted to show that. It's not like you have not not seen the scanner, right? So, so that's what happens if you fall that way. Oh, I didn't even realize the one here. <laughs> it's like a quartz vein or whatever. There you go. Oh. Looks like that might be it for that one. Oops. Uh, yeah, so this one's called Nether Nether Quartz Ore. So we could just say Quartz Ore was kind of boring to be honest but that's if that's what it is that is what it is right so you just go or quartz or and then set that to gold confirm there you go so with our scanner we can use this to help us find other ores let's well, wisp i do not want that attacking me got it okay so there you go there's one down here there's another down there Okay, so yeah, there's one right here. Not sure if that's a safe one. This one's probably a bit safer. So it's up to you how you want to do this, of course. But uh, keep in mind, if you're going to dig down like this, to take your time to don't push, don't push forward too fast. Be oh crap! What the heck? Oh crap! Okay, I've never seen that happen before. Holy crap, they all went down the hole after me. Okay, so this is not going to be a safe place, as I thought it would be, because it's actually opening into a cave system, so keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and hopefully... We're going to take a lot of damage doing this Well. Maybe not a lot of damage per se, but a lot of just random tick crap. Oh, here he is. We just fell in the lava. He, the 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 explosion of him dying, even though it's you know you're not right beside him, ended up causing us to take that. See, you can see the the slight issues with uh, the Nether. So Nether War. If we find another fortress over time, Nether War, of course, we'll fix that up, but. Here we go. So, I guess at this point, you're just working your way. Oh, crap. I can't see. There you go. Just interesting what this is. Maybe it's something new just so we can say, hey, we found another one. And then, you know, that's it. That'd be the episode. No, it looks like, uh, oh, actually, no, this is a different one. 
This is the zinc one. Ah, so this is how you actually make brass, I believe. The Greg Tech version of brass. That was kind of dumb on my part. So there you go. So, you know, look at that. We already found quite a few things already. It's not like it's a hard uh, thing to do. Oh. Wow. That is interesting. Them playing the whole we can get you anywhere kind of thing is a uh, very, very uh, interesting little gameplay there. So, yeah, that was, uh, what was that? Zinc. So, we could just literally just say, or zinc. There we go. And turn that into the gold and confirm. And there we go. So, there we have it, my friends. Uh, we, at least we have a few of the different ores. Uh, bauxite didn't come up, but bauxite, like, it's everywhere as well, right? So we just have to do a little playing, and we'll eventually get it anyways. Um, and then uh, bauxite will be great. Once I process that, I can work on uh, starting to get some of the stuff that I need for the MV level uh, stuff. So that will let us progress, basically. So, yeah, you pretty much have to, at this point, go to the nether. I mean, you don't have to, but as far as I can tell, you will not progress through uh greg tech without pretty much going to the nether so keep that in mind ah ha, ha, i love you guys not yeah those guys are the worst but at least we're getting some rods anyway so okay so thank you guys and girls so much for watching if you enjoy this please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye